Hello, I'm Debbie Gatlin, and I want to thank you for taking time to count the Omar with me. We are counting the Omar, which is a seven-week period between Pesach and Shavuot. It's known as the time of counting the Omar period. The Omar is a sheaf. It was an ancient measurement of grain that refers to the barley offering bought to the temple on the second day of Passover. Starting on that day, the Torah instructs, you shall count off seven weeks. They must be complete and you must count until the day after the seventh week, 50 days. Pentecost or Shavuot. Leviticus 23, 15-16. The festival of Shavuot is observed on the 50th day. So count the Omar and recite the blessing every night during this 50-day period until they receive the law on Mount Sinai. And we know they've received it, but it's a time where we prepare our hearts to receive the good things that God has for us. Psalm 67, God be gracious to us and bless us. Cause thy face to shine upon us, that your way may be known on the earth, your salvation to the nations. Let the people praise you, O God, let the people praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for he will judge the people with uprightness and guide the nations of the earth. Selah, let the people praise you, O God, let the people praise you. The earth has yielded its produce. God, our God, blesses us. God blesses us that all the ends of the earth may fear him. Did you notice one of the main lines in this is that God blesses us, God blesses us, God blesses us. And you know what? He blesses us to be a blessing. And then he said, let the people praise him. He is worthy to be praised. So tonight we're going to recite the blessing. And if you're Jewish, say, blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with the commandments and commanded us to count the Omar. Now, if you're a Gentile believer and Yeshua, you may want to say this. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us through Yeshua, the Messiah, and commanded us, your people, to count the Omar. Yes, we are counting the Omar, and today is the 29th day, which is four weeks and one day of counting the Omar. And today we're talking about glory and splendor. And many of us, we don't know what glory really is. So I just thought I'd do a little word study on glory. And one of the first places glory is mentioned, this is really the second place, but, but is in that time period where the people of God are murmuring and complaining. And yet God says, you know what? I'm going to show you my glory. Listen to this, Exodus 16, 6 through 7. So Moses and Aaron said to all the sons of Israel, At the evening you will know the Lord has brought you out of the land of Egypt, and in the morning you will see the glory of the Lord. For he hears your grumblings against the Lord. And what are we that you grumble against the Lord? Did you hear what it says? And you will see the glory of the Lord. Exodus 16, 10. It came about as Aaron spoke to the whole congregation of the sons of Israel that they looked toward the wilderness and behold, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. Don't you love that the glory can be seen? Y'all, the glory can be seen. So I'm going to tell you, this is the definition of the glory in Old Testament and Hebrew. And I kind of highlighted this. We know that glory is weightiness, it's heaviness. It's something that can be felt over your life, but it's in a good sense. It's splendor, brightness, and beauty, come on. Or conspicuousness, which is abundance of supply or quantity. It's glorious. It's honorable. Honor. It's, it's abundance of riches. Splendor, riches, dignity, reputation, and reverence. Glory, glory, glory. God is all those things and more. Then it crosses to this. It says from 35.13. It says in a good sense, numerous, rich, honorable, Cause, causatively to, to make weighty in, this, in these things, abounding with, abounding with to honor, nobles, prevail, promote, to honor, be rich. And then it talks about heavy or heavy or many, promote to be heavy, to be weighty, to be rich, to be honorable, be glorious, to be honored, to made abundant, to get oneself glory. So God is glory. In the New Testament, it is dignity, glory, glorious, honor, praise, worship, glory, glorious, 
honor, praise, dignity, worship, opinion, judgment, view. Then it says estimate whether good or, or bad concerning something. In the New Testament, always good opinion concerning one resulting in praise, honor, and glory, splendor. It's majestic, excellence, preeminence, dignity, grace, majesty, things belonging to God, the kingly majesty which belongs to him as supreme ruler, majesty in the sense of the absolute perfection of the deity, a thing belonging to Christ, the kingly majesty of the Messiah, the absolutely perfect inward or personal excellency of Christ, the majesty of angels as apparent in their exterior, exterior brightness, a most glorious condition, most exalted state of that condition with God the Father in heaven to which Christ was raised after he had achieved the work on the earth. Oh yeah. And then it crosses to this, to think, hmm, to seem, to be accounted. Let's think about this thing. To be a reputation, seems, suppose, think. And to this, and it says, to show, expose to the eyes, metaphor, give ex evidence, a proof, a thing, to show by words or teach. Let me tell you this, that glory can be seen, glory can be felt. Glory, glory, glory. Glory it can be seen with provision. Glory can be seen through many ways, many different ways. And, and one of those ways is a cloud. And again, in Exodus 16, 6 through 7, it, when they're mumbling and complaining, then Moses and Aaron said to the children of Israel, at evening, you will know that the Lord who has brought you out of the land of Egypt in the morning, you will see the glory of the Lord, for he hears your grumblings against the Lord. So what are we that you grumble against us? What you will see the glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord can be seen. Exodus 16, 10. And it talks about this again. Moses and Aaron spoke to the whole, and it came about as Aaron spoke to the whole congregation of the sons of Israel that they looked toward the wilderness. And behold, the glory of the Lord appeared in a cloud. Oh my goodness. Glory, glory, glory. God is the glory, is the God of weightiness. He's the God of glory. He's the God of splendor and might and power. He's the God of honor. He's the God that there's no limit to his riches and his wealth and his provision. He is dignity. He is everything good and right and holy and just. This is the God that we serve. He's a God that's glorious. So Father, I just thank you for your people, Lord God, that you would teach us, Lord God, that we can see your glory. God, we want to, to see your glory. Like Moses cried out and said, that I may see your glory. If I found favor in your sight, let me see your glory. Let me see your glory. Let me see your glory. So I thank you and praise you. Let us be people that walk in your glory, that we see your glory, Lord God, that release your glory. Lord God, for you are glorious, Lord, and you want your weighty splendor to be upon our lives. So Father, we ask this now in Jesus' name, Yeshua's mighty name. Amen. Thank you for counting the Omar with me. God bless you. Good night. Thank you.